You're good, just like that. All right, we're about to get started right now. So did you know some of our daily habits could be working against our metabolism? I know that's something I don't want to hear right now. So Conway Regional Health Center nutritionist Rhonda Tosh is here to break it all down for us so everyone's metabolism is different. So what do we need to know when we're starting out our day? Yes, well, basically our metabolism, that's our body's engine, and we want it to work really great. No one wants a slow metabolism. Yeah. We want a high metabolism. Yes, we do. Well, one of the very first things we can do is make sure we start out the day with a great breakfast. And okay. over here we have some great um, uh, d different items okay. for starting out with breakfast. We've got our our milk, and okay. this is uh, almond milk. Okay. Uh -huh. And we've got some nuts. Mm -hmm. And uh, I brought the spinach to show a lot of people are doing smoothies. Yes. And you would think you could taste the spinach in it, but you really you can't. can't. No, yeah. you cannot. I've had that before. Uh -huh. And here's some fresh fruit. Here's strawberries. Those and strawberries are huge. Yes. <laughs> I have to wait that out. And they're wonderful. Yes. And they're so good for mm -hmm. you also. They really help speed up your metabolism. Okay. And here's some whole grain bread. And we see the banana down there. Mm -hmm. And that's nature's uh, fast food. You know, uh, grab it and go. Okay. And we also have like some yogurt. Okay. And yogurt, we try to recommend as a rich dietitian, um, Greek yogurt. It has double the protein okay. and it has that friendly bacteria that our body needs and it helps us metabolize the food easier. Perfect. So All that right. helps us. And then we have not so good things over here, right? We, yes. Now, first of all, all foods can fit in, and we've got to know that. No one's perfect. All foods can yes. fit in, but we want to do this no more than 20% of the time. So these are things that we know, they're highly processed mm -hmm. foods, and they actually slow down our metabolism. Okay. And a lot of people think that our energy drinks help us. They but don't. No. <laughs> for Great. For about 45 minutes, and then it takes us a nosedive uh, down. Okay. So... And then what about the importance of working out and sleeping, getting enough hours of sleep? We know more and more about how important sleep is. And actually, there's a term called sleep hygiene. Oh, okay. And it's making sure that we kind of wind down like an hour before we go to mm -hmm. sleep and uh, and make sure the lights are out and not be on our cell phones. Mm -hmm. Guilty. The, <laughs> the, well, that bright light really keeps us awake. Okay. And if we do not get enough sleep, like seven to nine mm -hmm. hours, then actually our certain hormones that are only that are only released at night, they're not released. And okay. that tends to make us heavier. Our metabolism mm. goes down. Wow, that's good to know, especially on this early morning shift. <laughs> All right, yes, so you have a yes. little demonstration here. This is what we don't yes, want, right? Yes, so this is a replica of adipose tissue or fat tissue. Okay. And it burns zero calories per hour. <sighs> so the muscle tissue oh, right. Uh, just having muscle tissue, it's mm -hmm. automatically in your body burning 150 calories per hour. Wow. So okay. that's why it's so important to fight back mm -hmm. nature with resistance exercise and walking. Okay. Uh, you know, on a daily basis, 30 to 40. Uh -huh. we, well, we can start out 10 minutes, but if we could work up to like 45 minutes of uh, just brisk walking per wow. day. Wow. Okay. Um, Perfect. Uh, yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. This was all some good advice for sure. Great. All thank right. And where can people find you real fast? If they oh, wanna... at conwayregional.org. All right. Thanks so much. All right. Thank all you. All right. We'll be right back.